found the perfect craft for you to do outside with your tamariki on a beautiful summer's day, just like this. He mahi toi e piatai to fare. It's a piece of art that's going to lighten up your room. He mea hanga ina e puramati. These beautiful tea light holders are made of concrete or molding compound, and they are guaranteed to fit any decor. And then aro with me. Quick dry craft concrete, molding compound, wai water, upu ine measuring cup, kumori ngai kiri ho plastic gloves, mokihi pui ho one packet of balloons, medium sized soft paint brush, paitarino metallic paint of your choice, tea lights and matches or a lighter. Kote mahi tua tahi, kote hanga raima. So the first thing we're going to do is make the concrete. Begin by measuring your concrete powder. Now just drip water in. Koro riro ria kia rite ai ki te uku te ahua. Stir until combined in the texture of clay. Me whaka hau hau poi hau. So I'm going to blow up the balloons to use as a mould. Heria, tie it off. And now all we have to do is put the tail side kiro pakite into the pot. Scoop the concrete mix onto the top of the balloon. Ata romi romi ata miri miri hoki kia pai ai te pani. Using a gentle pushing and patting motion, keep concreting your balloon until it's about one third covered. I want it to be even and the same thickness all the way around. I'm going for a three millimetre thickness around. Now all you have to do is leave it in a nice shady spot overnight. E pai ana kia waiho koara. So you can leave it in its bucket just like that, nice and balanced, and take it inside. For a family friendly version, you can use this really cool stuff. This is called modelling compound. It's really, really easy to use. It's like instant paper mache. Add water till it's thick and sticky. Pira e te raima, just like the concrete, you want it sticky but not slushy. Be careful, take it slowly. And just like the raima, just like the concrete one, put the balloon inside a bucket. Start in the middle, ki wainga nui, and tap it out. Even consistency all the way around. To smooth it off, and in case it gets really, really muddled ki or dry, just wet your hand and smooth it out. Potoku mahi nae, so what I'm going to do now is take it inside and let it dry overnight. Kia maru ra ano te raima. Once the concrete is set hard, you can unmold it by popping the balloon and carefully peeling it away from the concrete. <laughs> that looks so cool. Looks like a kina. Now the concrete one. Here here and tahi dua toru. Tada! All I'm going to do now is give them a better mahi zhuzhing. I've got a large dry paintbrush which I can use to brush out all the dust. You don't want any stray dust to be left in the bowl. Mote wao te painter for when you are painting it. I'm using this beautiful gold metallic colour. He rawe ki a nga mumu painter dino katai te hoko i e nei ra. So there's some awesome metallic paints out there. I really, really love the effect that this gold paint does to this concrete, and I'm liking how the tips around the edges. I still there's speckles of grey everywhere too. He mahi a no moti ne. So all I'm going to do is do the same thing for the white one. Wait until they're completely dried. Ngari anana kuya kuya. Be you have it. Kuriti monga kana da tea. They're ready for our tea light candles. Alright, they look amazing. Kuti mianu ikau. The biggest thing to me though is that they're all going to be different. They're not going to look the same, 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 shame, shame. And they look like something that's just come out of a designer shop. Mihi mai, mihi mai.